I will explain Charpitz method for solving nonlinear equation of first order. Actually, it's a method which gives complete integral of nonlinear partial differential equation of first order. I'll explain the method by solving two problems now. So then these are the problems which I'll be explaining. So consider the first one. Solve PXY plus pq plus qy equal to yz. Here z is a function in x and y and small letter p is partial derivative of z with respect to x and partial derivative of z with respect to y is represented by small letter q. Now here this partial differential equation contains the term pq therefore it is not a linear equation. This is a non-linear equation of first order. So we can use Charpitz method for solving this. For using Charpitz method, first we will write subsidiary equations or auxiliary equations of Charpitz method. They are written here. It is dx by minus dou f by dou p or it is same as fp. That is equal to dy by minus fq equal to dz by minus p f p minus q f q equal to d p by f x plus p f z equal to d q by f y plus q f z. So now to start with we will find out all these partial derivatives. So for that first of all we have to write down the function f. So then we will rewrite the equation. So this is the question given. So then I will rewrite this equation. It can be written as PXY plus PQ plus QY minus YZ equal to 0. Now we will take the left hand side function as F. So let F equal to PXY plus PQ plus QY minus YZ. This is F. So we have to find out partial derivative of F with respect to P, with respect to Q, with respect to X, Y and Z. So whenever you are taking partial derivative of F with respect to one variable, consider all other variables as constant. So now we can find out fp now. fp is same as dou f by dou p. So therefore differentiate this f partially with respect to p considering all other terms as constant. So here we will get fp as xy. First term contains p. So therefore 1 into xy plus next term is q. And now after that all terms derivatives of all terms with respect to p is 0 so fp is xy plus q now fq is with respect to q you differentiate consider all other terms as constant from here we will get p and now derivative of qy is y so now find out fx with respect to x differentiate we will dif differentiate now then py okay only one term there and now fy is from the first term we will get px and then second term derivative 0 third term you will get it as q and then one more term that is minus z now we will find out fz also so fz is derivative with respect to z first one two three terms uh, do not contain z so we will get only one term that is minus y so these are the partial derivatives. Now substitute in auxiliary equation or subs uh, that uh, subsidiary equation. Therefore, subsidiary equations are dx by minus fp. That is the first term. So minus fp means it is minus xy plus, sorry, it is minus xy minus q that is equal to dy by minus p minus y equal to dz by 
minus p x y minus p q minus p q minus q y simply substitute in the formula that is equal to d p by now then f x plus p f z f x is p y into p f z means p y minus p y so we will get it as zero that is equal to d q by we will get p x plus q minus z minus q y so then these are the subsidiary equation now then what we have to do is we have to find out either p or q from these subsidiary equations that's our aim so find out any formula from here you just see that here dp by 0 we got one term as dp by 0 therefore dp will be equal to 0 so we can write down dp equal to 0 this implies p is a constant so i'll take it as equation number 2 so sometimes in some problems we can directly obtain p as a constant here sometimes we will get q as a constant sometimes we can find out p or q as a function in x y or z sometimes we will get relationship connecting p and q now after obtaining any of these equations we will find out value of p and q as a function in x y z using the given question and this one so now i have taken the given question as equation number one we got p equal to a now substitute this in first equation that is the question itself so then we will get it is a x y plus a q plus q y minus y z equal to zero now from here we can find out q now simplifying we will get q into a plus y is equal to y z minus a x y therefore q equal to y z minus a x y by a plus y so i'll take it as third equation so now here we got the value for p and q so then you got p in the second equation and we got q in the third equation this is our aim after writing subsidiary equation then find out some relationship connecting p or q p and q or some equations for p and q and then solve that one with the help of first equation that is the given question find out an expression for p and q in terms of x y and z after this consider this equation that is dz is equal to p dx plus q dy and now here you substitute the value for p is a a dx the value for q is yz minus axy by a plus y into dy now try to solve this one and then find out an expression for z and here we can write rewrite this equation in the form dz minus a dx equal to and from here y is the common factor so y into z minus ax divided by a plus y dy so which can be easily integrated so now we can write it in variable separated form so therefore dz by minus a dx by z minus ax this is equal to numerator can be written as a plus y minus a divided by a plus y dy so therefore this left hand side can be written in this form d of z minus a x by z minus a x equal to now then uh, splitting this one we will get 1 mi minus a by a plus y into 
dy. So which can be integrated. So now integrating integral of left hand side is logarithm of z minus ax. Right hand side it is y minus a into log a plus y plus constant of integration that is I have taken it as b. So this is the final solution of the given partial differential equation. So I will repeat the method again. First you identify the given question as non-linear differential equation of first order. Then write down we will use Charpitz method. Rewrite the given equation in the form f equal to 0. Then write down subsidiary equations for Charpitz equation. After that try to find out value for P or Q or sometimes a relationship connecting P and Q and solve this equation along with the given equation to obtain an expression for P and Q in terms of X, Y, Z and then substitute these values in the equation dz equal to P dx plus Q dy then, then simplify rearrange the terms and then integrate write down the final solution. Now then I will explain one more problem. So consider this question that is we have to solve for Pxy plus uh, Pq plus ok so this is the one we have solved now ok consider this question that is Q plus Xp equal to P square so not this one it is Q plus xp equal to p square. Okay, so now this is also a nonlinear equation of the first order. Now we use Charpitz method here. So first of all, we have to find out the value for f. So f is q plus xp minus p square. So that will be equal to 0. This is f. Now these are the subsidiary equations. So we will find out all the partial derivatives here fp is x minus 2p and fq is 1, fx is p, fy is 0 and fz is also 0 again. Okay. So then while finding these derivatives consider all other terms as constants. That's what we will do in uh, for writing auxiliary equation Charpitz method. So now substitute all these in the Charpitz method. So I'll take this as the first equation. Substitute in auxiliary equation. We will get dx by minus x plus 2p and dy is minus 1. dz is minus p x plus 2p square minus Q and dp by fx plus p fz. fx is p plus fz. fz is 0. So therefore uh, we will get it as p. And uh, now dq by fy plus 0 plus q into fz 0. Okay. So then these are the subsidiary equations. Here there are two methods actually. So either you can take this dq as 0 because you got dq by 0 while cross multiplying you will get dq equal to 0. That will give you q is a constant. Then you can substitute the value for q in the original equation here and you can find out p. That is one method. So in that case uh, you will get p square and you have to use the formula for quadratic equation. And another method is you see they are in variable separable form if you are taking these two ratios. So for this problem I will use this method. You can try the other method also. You will get solution in that method also. So now consider dy by minus 1 equal to dp by p. Okay then we can integrate this one. Integrating we will get minus y equal to log p plus constant of integration I will write it as log a. So now we have to find out the value for p. 
So therefore, I will simplify this again. I will write this as minus y equal to logarithm of a into p. So now taking exponential on both sides, e to the power minus y equal to a p. This implies p equal to 1 by a into e power minus y. So we got a value for p. Now I will substitute this one in the first equation. So substitute this in first equation. Therefore q will be equal to p square minus xp. From the first equation q is p square minus xp. So we got a p. So we can substitute here. This is equal to 1 by a square e to the power minus 2y minus x into 1 by a into e to the power minus y. This is the value for q. Now, we will consider the equation dz equal to p dx plus q dy. So, this is equal to p is 1 by a into e to the power minus y into dx plus q is 1 by a square e to the power minus 2y minus x into 1 by a into e to the power minus y dy. So now we have to integrate. So we can observe that here this term contains only the term function in y but this contains both x and y. Okay, functions in x and y and dy. Here, e to the power minus y and dx. So, then we can combine these two. So, we can write this as 1 by a is a common factor. e to the power minus y dx minus x into e to the power minus y dy plus 1 by a square into e to the power minus 2y dy. So again, we can write this one as 1 by a into, we can observe that the term inside this bracket is derivative of x into e to the power minus y. Okay, because derivative of this term is, d of this term is x into derivative of e raised to minus y, that is minus 1 into e power minus y dy plus e power minus y into derivative of x dx. So, instead of this term, we can write like this. Now, plus 1 by a square into e to the power minus 2y dy. So, therefore, at this stage, we can integrate. Okay, now integrating z equal to 1 by a into integral of this term is x e to the power minus y plus 1 by a square into, now then integral of this term e power minus 2y is e power minus 2y divided by minus 2. And now this is same as z equal to 1 by a x e power minus y minus 1 by 2a square e to the power minus 2y. This is the required solution.